Welcome, my friends. Today, we're going to talk about a creature that's very small in size, but very dangerous in its impact. It's the fire ant. This ant has gained a terrifying reputation among people, so much so that its sting has been described as feeling like a burning flame. But is this just an exaggeration? Or do fire ants truly deserve this terrifying name? Stay tuned to the end, for these facts will shock you. Fire ants are characterized by their coppery red or dark brown color, a color that suggests heat and flames. They are small, ranging from only 2 to 6 millimeters, but don't be fooled by their size. They have extremely powerful jaws, which they use to bite and grasp skin when stinging. They possess sensitive antennae that help them communicate, identify prey, and even signal to other ants when danger is present. Surprisingly, a colony can contain thousands of individuals, all ready to attack at any moment. Fire ants live in organized groups in underground nests. often seen as mounds of dirt above the surface. A single colony can contain more than 200,000 ants. It is led by one or more queens, whose primary function is to lay thousands of eggs. What distinguishes fire ants is their extreme aggression. When someone is disturbed, the entire colony engulfs the attack in seconds. Even more bizarrely, if the colony is flooded, the ants will interlock their bodies to form a living boat that floats on the surface. Imagine a small creature transforming with its group into a living ship that survives sinking. You may wonder, why do fire ants attack us at all? The truth is, they don't sting humans just to attack. But rather when they sense danger to themselves or their colony. You might approach their nest without noticing or accidentally sit on their nest. And that's where the problem begins. The ants send out very rapid chemical signals and suddenly you find yourself surrounded by dozens of ants on your feet or hands. And in an instant, the simultaneous attack begins. What's strange is that fire ants don't sting all at once. Instead, they hold on to the skin with their jaws, then sting repeatedly with a painful injection of venom. This venom contains powerful compounds that cause a burning sensation, along with severe redness and swelling. Some people may experience a severe allergic reaction, which can lead to difficulty breathing. Signs of a fire ant sting in humans. So, what happens if you're stung by a fire ant? At first, you feel a stinging pain similar to a fire prick. Minutes later, the skin begins to redden. Then, small blisters filled with a white fluid appear, resembling a water burn. The pain can last for hours or even days in some people. In rare cases, a severe allergic reaction or anaphylactic shock may occur, requiring immediate medical attention. Surprisingly, some scientists are studying fire ant venom for use in medical research to treat diseases such as skin infections or even to develop new painkillers. Thus, we see that fire ants are small creatures, but they possess tremendous strength in defending themselves and their colony. 
The beauty of their color resembles a flame. Their sting resembles a burning fire. And their collective behavior is amazing and astonishing. Glory be to God, who created everything ingeniously and perfectly. Now it's my turn to ask you. Did you know that a fire ant sting resembles a burn in this way? Write your opinions and experiences in the comments. And don't forget to like, subscribe, and share the video with your friends. So everyone can hear this amazing information.